Okay, hello there, welcome back. Uh, public place here again, Newcastle on the line. What I'm doing today is I'm finishing off um, something that I sent to the Attorney General and the uh, Lord High Chancellor, but I didn't actually uh, put the, uh, the DVD, sorry, the video up online. So here we go now. This is what's called my Notice of Understanding and Claim of Right that was sent to both parties and to the Crown. Notice of Understanding and Claim of Right, including fee schedule of Peter of England. I, Peter of the family Smith, sue I juris, a flesh and blood man and blessed living soul serving God alone, do hereby affirm the following is my statement of truth. Whereas it is my understanding that the United Kingdom is a common law jurisdiction, and where it is my understanding that equality before the law is paramount and mandatory, and where it is my understanding that a statute is defined as legislative rule of society, which has been given the force of law, and where it is my understanding that society is defined as a number of people joined by mutual consent to deliberate, determine, and act for a common goal, and not to be an elective dictatorship, a sham and criminal disgrace, whereas it is my understanding that the only form of government that is recognized, that is recognized as lawful United Kingdom of Great Britain and Ireland is a representative one, and this present government and electoral system is neither democratic nor answerable, whereas it is my understanding that representation requires mutual consent and elective dictatorships are there to trick people and mislead them via hidden agendas and lying, mutually cooperating gangs of corporation-headed business gurus who are all operating via associated net networks proven to be linked to 153 global organizations and corporations, whereas it is my understanding that in the absence of mutual consent, neither representation nor governance can exist, whereas it is my understanding that all acts of parliament are statutes restricted in scope and applicability by corporate law and admiralty law, and whereas it is my understanding that said scope and applicability is limited to members and employees of government and crown agents, and whereas it is my understanding that those who have a national insurance number are in fact employees of the UK government and crown agents or personnel of UK PLC and thus are bound by the statutes created by UK PLC, corporatocracy and government, and Whereas it is my understanding that it is lawful to abandon one's national insurance number, driver's license, passport and all other licensing, tax discs, TV licenses, insurances, permissions issued by the state. Whereas it is my understanding that human beings in the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Ireland have a right to revoke or deny consent to be represented and thus governed by traitors and collaborators. And Whereas it is my understanding that if anyone does revoke or deny consent, they exist free of government control and statutory restraints. And whereas the freeman of the land has lawfully revoked consent and does exist free of statutory restrictions, obligations and limitations. Whereas I, Peter Smith, now known as Peter of England, am a free man on the land. And whereas it is my understanding that acting peacefully without community standards does not breach the peace, and whereas it is my understanding that any action for which one can apply for and receive a license must it in itself be a fundamentally lawful action. For example, the growing of marijuana, the driving of a car, the driving of a bus, or the giving up, for example, of medical advice. Rebuttal. Whereas I am not a child, and I am a peaceful human being. Whereas I am a free man on the land who operates with full responsibility, I do not seek the need to ask for permission to engage in lawful and peaceful activities, especially from those that claim limited liability. Whereas it is my understanding that a bylaw is defined as a rule of a corporation, and whereas it is my understanding that corporations are legal fictions and require contracts in order to claim authority or control over other parties, and Whereas it is my understanding that legal fictions lack a soul and cannot exert any control over those who are thus blessed and operate with respect to that knowledge as only a fool would allow a soulless fiction to dictate to one's action. Whereas it is my understanding that I have a right to use my property without having to pay for the use and enjoyment of it.
whereas it is my understanding that natural law is the permanent underlying basis of all law, and theories of natural law have been an important part of jurisprudence throughout legal history. Natural law is distinguished from positive law, which is the body of law imposed by the state. Natural law is both anterior and superior to positive law. Oxford English Dictionary, 5th edition. Whereas it is my understanding that common law, which applies to all living souls, is we are free to do what we please as long as we do not infringe on the life, liberty, property or rights of another. Whereas it is my understanding the United Kingdom is a common law jurisdiction and whereas it is my understanding that Parliament, which has no lawful authority ever to breach, surrender, lend or transfer, even temporarily, sovereignty except when conquered in war, and whereas I do firmly and truly believe the signing of the European Union Lisbon Treaty is an overt act of treason, and where it is my understanding that no one, neither monarch nor prime minister, nor any prelate, politician, judge or public servant, is above the common law of the United Kingdom that forms the British Constitution, including Magna Carta 1215, the Declaration of the Bill of Rights 1688-89, Acts of Union, Succession and Settlement 1701-7, and the coronation oath. Whereas it is my understanding equality before the law is paramount and mandatory, and where it is my understanding a statute is defined as a legislated rule of society which has been given force of law, and where it is my understanding a society is defined as a number of people joined by mutual consent to deliberate, determine, and act for a common goal. And whereas it is my understanding that for something to exist legally, it must have a name. Whereas it's my understanding in the United Kingdom, sorry, where it is my understanding people in the United Kingdom have a right to deny or revoke consent. Whereas it is my understanding if anyone does revoke or deny consent, they exist free from government and statutory restraints. Whereas it is my understanding that a claim of right establishes a lawful excuse and that this factual truth is expressed by way of example in the Theft Act 1968 and the Criminal Damage Act 1971 where belief must be that the law creates the best specific right to act in that way. Whereas it is my understanding that the government does not clearly express that one may be charged for failure to obey a de facto government or court. Whereas it is my understanding that all existing courts and governments are de facto only and not de jure. And whereas it is my understanding that agreements made on behalf of the United Kingdom by traitors and collaborators to the United Kingdom do not bind the people of the United Kingdom. And whereas I honourably refuse to be bound by agreements made by traitors and said collaborators. Whereas it is my understanding that any police officer who cooperates with foreign armed troops to govern or regulate the population is also committing treason. And whereas it is my understanding that historically the purpose of a national armed force was to ensure that foreign powers never invaded and governed under force of arms, and whereas it is my understanding that the existence of armed crown agents, security teams and snatch squads as good as foreign troops or an occupying invading army, in the guise of police, men, policy enforcement officers, patrolling and policing our streets with surveillance devices is evidence of a war fought unsuccessfully. And Whereas it is my understanding that agreeing or conspiring to agree to allow armed foreign troops to patrol and police our streets is an act of treason against the people who have been turned into the enemy in their own land. They are surveyed, spied upon as enemies of the state. Their communications and private matters captured and recorded as if they were spies and criminals. They are frisked and searched and interrogated as if they were captured enemy combatants. I maintain it is the royal estate and its nefarious agents and agencies which war with the people. Whereas I, Peter of the family Smith, now known as Peter of England, am a flesh and blood man, a blessed living soul serving God alone. I am not a child, I am a flesh and blood man who operates with full responsibility. 